good day. My name is Renuka Ramesa. And I am Dion Neves. And behind the camera, we have Mr. Derek Ramdat. And we are here to present the practical skills required for the CSEC Agriculture Science Salon. Good day. We are here today to do our soil texture analysis. We have three main soil types. We have sandy soil, clay soil, and loamy soil. Here we have three soil samples and we are about to determine which soil sample falls in which category. Our pre-operative procedures observed, we have our soil sample A, soil sample B and soil sample C. We have our distilled water, we have our beaker and our spatula and we are about to do these tests. Now there are two main types of tests that we do. We do a field test and we also do a ribbon test. Right? The field test is where we determine by touch what is the size of the particles. Now, in our soil sample A, we see here that we have a coarse type of soil. In our soil sample B, we have, yes, a coarse type, but it is not as coarse as soil sample A. And our soil sample C, we see a fine texture. Now, if we were to feel this, we would know by the feel which which type of soil it is. A clay soil has a very smooth, fine feel, while a loamy soil has an intermediate feel between coarse and fine. A sandy soil is very rough and the particles are large. Now we will start with soil sample A. As we feel the soil, we, we can actually see that the particles are grainy and the particles are large. We can feel that it is very coarse. In feeling soil sample B, we can feel a mix between a powdery feel and a coarse feel and if we were to feel our soil sample C we would see visibly that it is very fine and powdery and it has a very powdery feel as it leaves on the hand. We are now going to do our ribbon test. Our soil sample A has been moistened with some distilled water. We are now going to roll it into a bowl. If it rolls into a bowl we could move to the next step which would be to roll it into a ribbon but this soil sample does not go into a bowl it falls apart by seeing this we can assume that it is a sandy soil because it doesn't even go into that bowl it has no cohesion in our soil sample B we moisten our soil and now we are going to roll it into a bowl it goes into the bowl not a totally smooth ball, but a ball nonetheless. Now we will go into a ribbon. As we roll it into a ribbon, we can observe that there are cracks forming in the soil, but it goes into the ribbon. We are now going to bend it into a U, but as we can see, the soil has broken apart. This indicates that this is a loamy soil. If it went straight into the U, we could assume that it would be a clay soil. Now our soil sample C, we are adding a little bit of water so that it would be a little moist. And we will mold it into a bowl. Now as we can see, this soil is very hard. So it goes into a bowl with no cracks as soil sample B did. Then we are going to roll it into the ribbon. We are going to do the same as we did with soil sample A and B. We are first going to mold this into a bowl. As you can see, it went into a smooth bowl. No cracks, no creases. Secondly, we are going to roll it into a ribbon. Now this ribbon must be thin. Because if it is thick, when we are bedding it into the U, it will break. As you can see, it rolls smoothly into a ribbon. Now for the final test, if this goes into a U or turn into a O, we can assume that this is a clay soil. 
as you can see it goes into the U unlike our previous soils we could assume that this is a clay soil it goes straight into the circle without visually falling apart we can assume for sure that this is a clay soil 